Uh, we'll get into another game, another divisional battle uh, where the New York Jets will head down to Miami uh, where the Dolphins are an eight and a half point favorite, minus 420 on the money line, uh, plus 330 for the Jets and the over-unders at 36 and a half. I'm on the Dolphins here to, to – I think they cover the number at home. I do have a three-leg parlay where they are in that money line parlay. I took them just to win this game. Um, I think the Dolphins could cover this number. It's been fluctuating. I saw it go down to 7.5. I saw it as uh, high as 9.5 somewhere. So uh, it's definitely just a weird line. I think the Dolphins can cover the number and get out to a quick start. Uh, you know that we've always been taking the most dirt, a chain, Tyree Kill mm-hmm. props. I think they all get in today. I think it's a big day for the Dolphins offense. I did just see it is pouring in Miami, so that could play into more of the run game style for Miami. I think that does play into the Jets' favor with the tough defense, but I like Miami to come out on top. After a tough loss at home last week against the Titans on Monday Night Football, I think the Dolphins, This is they're looking at this as a must-win game, and they know Buffalo's in a, in a good spot where obviously they're favored today against Dallas at home, a really good team. Buffalo wins that game and Miami loses this week. That division gets really interesting. I like the Dolphins to cover the number today at home. Yeah, I personally think it's going to be a tough one for the Dolphins to cover. These two teams matched up before. We saw the Dolphins get some backdoor plays, really helped tough in his first half bet last time. Um, that crazy interception six with no time left on the clock at the end of the first half. I think we see a similar close game like we saw in the first half there. I think the Jets can keep it tight. I don't know if they end up covering because that number dropping really does scare me. Um, the rain, like you said, Hoff, big factor in this one. I think if they keep the ball on the ground with Brett, with uh, Brees Hall, and I think Zach Wilson, strong week last week. A banged up Tyreek Kill too. We saw Tua look like Mac Jones without him last week. Um, so it's going to it's gonna be a tough one. I think Mostert does get in the end zone once again. That can be automatic. Guy gets in every week. You'll probably see that on my card. But uh, like I said, Dolphins went on the money line, but I think it's tough for them to cover this lofty spread this week in divisional matchup. Yeah, eight and a half is always a weird spread, too, because they could win by the touchdown. You get fucked by the half point. I mean, we've even seen 21-13. I'm not saying that's going to be the final score, but in a rainy game with a low over-under, I think they're thinking this could be a 21-13 game, and obviously Jets would cover by that half point there. So 